Hello once again, everybody. Welcome back to the High School Sports Feed. I'm Dave Yates. It is time now for the High School Notebook, and that, of course, means it is time for Matt Trammell. Matt, thanks once again for jumping on board. Thanks for having me on. Hey, we're uh, in the middle of the high school fall sports season, but we're going to talk a little basketball from college going pro. So I had a chance recently to do a sit-down interview with the former McQuaid Jesuit Knight and projected 2020 first-round NBA pick Isaiah Stewart. A lot of updates from him on his pre-draft prep for the big night coming up in a couple weeks. Very exciting. And this has been the most unique pre-draft time in NBA history for him and really everybody else, you would think, in this draft class. With the pandemic pushing back the draft date not once but twice, and when it has, it's been for many weeks or months each time. A big Section 5 connection with Isaiah's draft preparations is that his trainer since the pandemic hit is Fairport High School and Team USA coach Scott Fitch. They've quarantined together. Isaiah calls Fitch his shot doctor. Isaiah said Boston, Golden State, New Orleans, and San Antonio are some of the teams he has talked to. All four teams, very interesting, in the lottery, which makes sense because, I mean, it's not that arguable if you ask me. He could easily be the most NBA-ready prospect in this draft class he, for so many years now, has had an NBA-ready body, if you ask me. Really, since his McQuaid days, he's just so advanced, both for his position and really just the entire draft class when you look at that aspect. I think it's awesome that a guy like Scott Fitch you know, is, is just being such a huge part in prepping him up for this. Well, yeah, and Isaiah was saying it's really because he's been on a couple of Team USAs, some of those younger age groups, not really like the LeBron and Kobe ones that you see for that, that senior national team, they call it. But because he's a big piece of the coaching when it comes to those younger age groups, because that's what he does at Fairport High School, that age group, he's been with Isaiah and training him for a little bit now. So Isaiah knew he knew what he was talking about when it comes to the sport. That's awesome. Great to see. Now let's talk a little soccer. Let's talk one of the top boys teams in the area right now, and that would be Penfield. So recently, when you think of Class AA boys soccer teams consistently fighting postseason success, you think of Fairport, McQuaid, Hilton. The 2020 season has seen the Penfield Patriots start with an impressive 6-0 record atop the class. Let's remember Penfield, historically, third all-time in Section 5 with 19 sectional championships behind Red Creek. Pittsford Menden, the program won four titles in a row twice in its history, including from 1999 to 2002. The leading scorer in the Monroe County League through three weeks is Shane McMillan. I was talking the 2020 NBA draft a minute ago. Arizona star guard Nico Mannion, he's Shane's doppelganger. I think Shane <laughs> Shane is quite an athlete just like Nico is. One goal in his hat trick versus Schrader. I was at the game recently. He bazookaed it across the goal mouth and into the side netting. When I saw it, I involuntarily being kind of a weird sports person, yelled in my head, Bazooka Joe, chew on that. <laughs> Plus, it was scored on a longtime elite goalie around here, Ethan Ellis. Not easy to score on him if you want to continue with gum puns. Big time chewing gum fan. I know you are as well. You can also call him Big Red because he is a striker with height. Hey, kind of across the board, Penfield is a huge team physically, including wingback Danny Gregory. Rare exceptions are brothers Taj and Christiana Munarat. They make up for being a little bit shorter with footwork and foot power, depending on what side of the field a corner kick is taken on. Those are the two corner kick guys. So obviously a big there, a big deal there, I should say. They're a big part of this team. Senior Taj constantly wins headers over taller opponents. Sophomore Cristiano has every skill in the book to dispossess opposing players. Senior defender Joe Vogt is one of the top few Section 5 guys in terms of summer ball notoriety, and he scored a handful of goals already as a backliner. He can come up on corner kicks from the Munarat brothers and head them in. I saw it with my own eyes. This team is so, so tough, and it's really fun because they just have really thing, everything clicking. Tell you what, you worked in Bazooka Joe. You worked in Big Red. If you got Hubba Bubba in there somehow, you would have been my hero. I'm telling you that right now. Matt, always great to have you on, buddy. Thanks for joining us once again. We'll see you next week. Thanks for having me. All right, we're back with more of the High School Sports Beat right after this.